Hi again, everyone, and welcome to that handicapping show sponsored by TVG. I'm Tom Lamar, joined again by Pete Dank. Pete, welcome back to the show. He'll be here on a regular basis. We're looking at the Belmont Stakes, of course, this week, and a field of 12 was drawn on Wednesday. Um, one late edition, I guess, Maya Adonis, who drew post 12, and um, he has some speed that uh, I would imagine that he could impact the pace. But field of 12, I'll have another shooting for the Triple Crown, four to five, morning line favorite, drew post 11, which seems to be a pretty good spot for him. How did you uh, look at the race, Pete? And of course, who was your who was your pick? Who will you bet money on to win? Uh, <laughs> I think I'll have another is the best horse, but I think like most people, four to five is a tough price to take. Mm -hmm. So if we're talking about trying to make some money in here, I think you have to root against the, the big horse. Um, I landed on Painter. When I, when I look through this race, uh, you mentioned Maya Donis. Looking at the pace scenario, I don't think there's a ton of good speed in here. I see Painter from the nine post being able to sit just off the speed. I think he gets first run and I'll have another. Um, who knows, may, maybe we'll have a, a trainer ownership exact a repeat and we'll have, uh, mm -hmm. I'll have another running down a Bob Baffert's Zayat State of course. <laughs> um, so I, I, I think I want to play Painter to win if he's seven, eight, nine to one. I think that's a good enough price in here. You know, one thing about the Belmont, there's so many variables. None of these horses have tried a mile and a half before. And then you have a horse like I'll have another who's run the Derby, the Preakness, now coming back in another three weeks. This is a test of his constitution as well. Mm -hmm. So it's not just who is the fastest horse, because he's proven he's the best member of this crop to this point. I don't think there's any doubt about that. But if you want to try to make some money, you've got to try to beat him in this race. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I'm going to go Painter to win, and, and maybe I'll also play an exacta. I'll have another over Painter, and uh, that'll be my version of a place bet in this spot. Okay. Um, I like Painter. Uh, I do not like him to win. Or, excuse me. I will not play him to win. However, I will use him. Uh, I thought his race at Pimlico was really, really good, watching the race anyway. The horse that he dueled with for six furlongs or more uh, had much more seasoning than that horse did, and he pulled away from him. Again, not a fast pace, but a really nice brisk speed rating of 107. Um, you know, he was the horse that the connections pointed to the race, so that means something. And I do agree with you, of the speed horses, I think he's the one that sticks around the longest, so I am using him. That said, I too am not picking. I'll have another on top. If he wins, great. Um, but like you said, we bet these races. We want to make a little bit of money. I'm going to pick Union Rags, who I picked in the Kentucky Derby. And we all know what happened in the Kentucky Derby. Interesting horse. Some people say that he's not the horse that he was at two. I think the opposite. I think maybe he looks like the horse that might be primed for a breakout race. Um, so I've got to crawl out on the limb. I'm going to pick him on top. Um, if a horse wins this race by you know, a large margin, I think he has the best shot to do that. I think it's breakout time. I'll take the six to one. What do you think about Union Rags? You know, he, he was also my derby pick. And, and it's funny you were talking about him not being the horse he was at two or whether he is. I think he is the horse he was at two, but I kind of think that's the problem. I don't think he, he, <laughs> he, he's not he's not running any faster than he was as a two-year-old, and that's right. you need to see the breakout race here. And you know, I looked at him long and hard because I, I love this horse, but it kind of seems like he's running the same speed. And I, you know, you watch the Derby, yeah. And you know, he he backed up in that race, but he had an awful trip. You know, he very well could have run his his race there, and and I don't know, maybe been second. And, mm -hmm. I just had trouble thinking he'll break through off that race, but I wouldn't be surprised to see him win. You know, I think he's a great. I'm horse. just going to take the shot. I'm still convinced that he is a really, really good horse, and I'm waiting to see that big race. He did draw post three with John Velasquez, and I think that's okay because they're really a lot of these horses like to just drop out of it and lope along early. I think he shouldn't be worse than fifth heading into the first turn, and if that's the case, I think he has a good shot. Um, you got a good jockey change there. I th you know, John Velasquez is a, a rider who knows the importance of tactical mm -hmm. speed. He yeah. knows how to get out of the gate. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I think you're going to be sitting just behind the leaders, you mm -hmm. know, maybe with a horse like Painter outside of you. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and should have plenty of time to get out in a mile and a half race. And mm -hmm. that stride that Union Rags has looks like 
it could be a good stride for a longer race. And he's got the great champagne run at Belmont, right. too. So right, which I like your pick. would help. Okay, all right. Um, just real quick, um, you already mentioned your top two. Who else will you throw in there um, in your tries, perhaps, or supers, or whatever you decide to bet? You know, I was thinking the obvious horses are the ones that are probably going to hit the board here. You know, we've got Dullahan, Painter, I'll have another. Uh, Street Life is a horse that's a little bit interesting. I'm using him. Seems like a lot of people are on that horse. I know. That, that kind of worries me, actually, because that's usually a kiss of death. But Yeah, uh, the two others that, that I like a little bit, and, and it's more, I'm just throwing them on because they're big prices, and I see a little bit of potential, is Unstoppable You and Optimizer. Okay. Um, prices. Yeah. Big price horses. You know, Good. Optimizers by English Channel, who, who was a could get a mile and a half. Um, it was more on the turf than dirt, but he's a little bit interesting maybe to clunk up for third. Mm -hmm. um, and then Unstoppable You is a horse that actually I really like a lot. I don't love him in this spot, but I see enough potential in this horse and enough crazy things have happened in the Belmont over the years that I want to throw him in because uh, I think he's I think he can run a lot faster than he's run already, mm -hmm. and I really liked what I saw from him in his first two career starts. Okay, all right. A horse to watch down the road if he doesn't do anything here nonetheless. Okay, write that one down. Uh, great card on Saturday. We'd love to talk about the undercard stakes because it really is a good betting card, but we're short on time and we're going to sign off right now. But uh, once again, we thank uh, sponsor TVG. We thank Briss for the past performances. And we hope that you enjoy watching this year's Belmont Stakes and the Triple Crown bid by I'll Have Another. For Pete, I'm Tom. Have a great weekend.